hello students how are you today i will take up section 2 in which i have started important issues of indian administration i have already completed administrative reform in india today i will take up public grievances or citizen grievances this topic is very important as far as bpsc is concerned in past there has been question from this topic and recent there has not been question from this topic so this year we are expecting question from this topic you know this topic has very you can say complicated or you can say combined in nature sometime it can be associated with corruption and sometime with lokpal also so you know public grievances and corruption are two interrelated concept you know Uh, corruption also leads to public grievances but there can be other form of causes also which cause public grievances like exclude other than corruption so we will take up public grievances first of all and i will discuss what are mechanism available at central level and state level and tomorrow or next class i will discuss corruption in lokpal particularly there has been question from this topic also you know public grievance is one of the important issue of indian administration and bihar admission both very important you know yardstick of governance lies in public satisfaction if public are satisfied means your governance is good if public is not satisfied means your governance is poor so you know so public grievance is some sort is it some sort of indicator of you can know, say public satisfaction with regard to administration getting point as i told this is one of the very important issue which which does not only define a relation between administration and public but also states you can say pace and direction of governance so if it is managed effectively then it will have number of benefits but suppose if it is not managed properly then it may lead to several consequences including nationalism separatism and some other sort of you can say divisive forces so that is very important thing i must tell you or in general if someone asks to what is public grievances then here i try to point out public grievances is not very simple word it is very broad concept getting quite includes it includes just and unjust getting point fair or unfair getting point right or wrong appropriate or inappropriate etc feeling getting point feeling of public either heard or felt or faced or appeared or realized with regard to administration is called public grievances so it does not mean that public grievances will be always right or wrong, right or not will be always fair sometime unfair also what generally happens if you see in your childhood or if you see your uh, ch- uh, children your family what they used to say they may have petty problem with their siblings or you can say brother sister and sometimes they start fighting each other against each other and say see inhone mero maar diya mero ko maar diya de kuch ko maro maro this right and what you used to do just to you just to okay. we mar dero why do you do this thing only to pacify his ego only to pacify his feeling otherwise if you not do this one that what will happen it may possible that some sort of complexity may develop in his mind that her grievances is not taken care of properly he is not given due treatment equally so this may lead to some several sort of another problem so this is very important thing you required to show something that you are doing fairly you are very just and you are very fair this and that so what i mean to say public grievances may be not you are you, are, you may be hard of you may you may be hard you may hurt felt you may face you may appear you may realize what ever but it can be you can say with regard to administration and uh, this is maybe unfair wrong right what ever it can be get a point such as nca you can say nrc ca 
if you take survey in india level and try to ask what are feedback of their grievances then i do have 95% public will say or not 90 but larger population will say yes it is good in favor it is it is good in the country so that should be continued but there may be some person or segment of society or population which may feel otherwise they may have grievances with regard to this act so this can be the thing getting point so what i mean to say public grievances is basically broad concept it is separate issue but you know earlier what we used to think that the public grievances is not an issue at all it is due to un- undevelopment or underdevelopment if development will take place properly public grievances will go automatically out but what happened on the one hand we have registered development significantly on the other hand we also faced increasing public grievances then only we came to know that public grievances is separate issue it has nothing to do with the development there can be development factor but there may be other factor also so what is public grievances in general i told right it is some sort of reflector of any poor relation between governance and administration it is basically gap between administrative uh, 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 public expectation and administrative availability so you know there is always increasing public expectation and you know there is all uh, there is unlimited you can say un, uh, unfair infinite public expectation and on the other hand where so ever government availability is concerned it has always limits limitation it has limited resources it may have limited limited manpower etc so there may be always gap and there will be definitely always public grievances so to consider zero public grievances is not practical approach not pragmatic it is not possible in reality there will not even you can find in america norway sweden you go anywhere where transparency index is one or the best one where there you will also find some sort of population may have some dissatisfaction or public grievances even public grievances was during ram raj so you know the public grievances cannot be zero but it should be minimized otherwise it may lead to some divisive forces and some ill consequences also that's why government in central level and state level came to know that this is an important issue and required to be treated specifically getting point so i will try to say what are reason why why why, why there is public grievances there can be number of reason i have i try to point out there can be social reason economic reason political reason administrative reason functional reason legal reason personal reason and situational reason social reason means with the, the, the which emerges from it is related to society the social structure stratification caste caste creed etc the value system also some sort of reason which cause public dissatisfaction from system there are points so this is also one of the things then economic system you know economic system means that something related to your pores there are points presently you may find there may be several you can say opinion in social media that diesel has become more costly than petrol so this is the thing that you can only one then a political one it is due to public or board bank or you can say political party since it is related to you can say uh, 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 proper uh, personal agenda that's why they sometimes manipulate and also cause to like, create some sort of uh, uh, public grievances in general then administrative rule regulation ratepism etc cause ratepism legal legal is very important point and the and 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 policy or law always causes such like nrc or ca you can can take it uh, then functional reason function there can be several function some which will be of urgent nature some may be of confidential nature which cannot be made public etc and public wants it should be also published 
that time sometime create some sort of problem also and some personal problem that you may have unpragmatic approach with regard to life you are very you live in your hypothetical world so this also cause some sort of always dissatisfaction with the system and situational you know organization and administration has to work within a defined framework and it has a limited situation situational variable suppose if you expect that police will be multi- available on 24 multiplied by 7 services but it has also limitation you try to understand it so sometimes situational factor is also there last time what happened one cor- during corona problem get a point police told individual that you have any difficulty you can contact me no problem i am always at your disposal police was at disposal one person called police that they want to eat samosa so provide samosa police took very seriously what is this this is not way of asking services police provided of course samosa but gave punishment to clean the drainage get a point you don't misuse it this is the thing get a point so this is also the thing that situational that when corona the country is facing corona problem so why do you ask for samosa or the that get a point so system this thing you require there are reason for causing dissatisfaction or you can say public grievance get a point in general if you ask me there can be public grievances can be related to improper policy it can be due to improper law or you can say it can be due to administrative reason it can be due to procedural reason it can be due to in different behavior of officer it can be due to you know a situational factor it can be due to social cultural background or something like number of reason i tell you you go to police station you go to hospital to take some take emergency work police will there will start saying no first i will lack get a case where if i am registered then only i will take up the case definitely at that time life is more important and public grievances is bound to emerge so this is the thing to think get a point so this is you can you can say there is always ex- increasing expectation from administration and there is always availability of resources that's why there is some sort of gap and this cause public grievances so you cannot take public grievances to be zero but it should be definitely kept under control if it is control then it may lead to several uh, good consequences and if it becomes uncontrolled it may lead to several ill, Ill consequences so what can be ill consequences if public grievances get off, out of control then first of all it will worsen the administration and public relation this relation will become poor public support participation to administration will major then the credibility of administration will be in jeopardy then you can say the policy and law will not be effectively implemented there will be increasing alienation or a suppressed feeling in among individual and they may lead to some divisive force also so these are very factor to organize and in fact getting points so what i told with development of india there has been increasing in the level of public grievances also that's why in 1964 government of india created a department of administrative reform under ministry of home affairs it was the first step taken by government to address this type of situation getting point in 1966 under chairman sri paman manohar morarji desai administrative reform commission was established getting point it has given one recommendation with regard to establishment or or introduction of lokpal and lok ayukt an institution in india that i do you remember this is also one of the important mechanism with regard to public grievances in 1968 69 for the first time this bill was introduced and it took you can say 32 years to get it enacted and it lived to 30 years at least comes at least it was enacted in 2014 getting why it was based on a version of sweden and you can say british uh, parliamentary commissioner pattern in which one can one individual can approach uh, to to it for redress of public grievances get a point so this is i tell you in 
you can say one major breakthrough took place when under the chairmanship or under the control direct control of prime minister a ministry was created called the ministry of personnel administrative reform public relations and pension getting point this is very important ministry and it is nodal agency for you can say entire administrative reform and public relations registration mechanism it coordinates other ministry and department other state government also to take care to manage redressal of public grievances effectively it is responsible for formulating citizen charter you know in 1988 one more important development took place that was you can say a separate establishment of citizen grievances redressal public grievances directed of public grievances get you know, directed of public grievances under cabinet secretariat it was to take care of public grievances in bank insurance postal shipping railway etc getting point almost all ministry and department have their own you can say grievance redressal unit get you know, point and one officer is particularly designated for first type of thing and on one day is particularly address to meet public and take their grievances very point there is no difficulty the one more thing i will like to say in 1992 and 93 also several significant initiative taken by government central government to make administration responsive transparent transparent and accountable and citizen charter was introduced it was british major in which public organization commits to give timely and qualitative service to individual getting point the situation continued further and you can say in 2007 getting point to so 1990 92 also one thing more i will like to point out that good governance got entry in india it was basically world bank concept world bank has pointed out that in you can say uh, uh, developing country there is under governance and that's why they are not in position to address problem effectively so they require good governance that's how they are, then after they can ensure effective administrative and governance get a point go effective governance then to 1992 onwards good governance in india become important and particularly our government Nitish government took a, you can say uh, it is an exception and it, 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 in Bihar the election was fought in good governance and present governance is also named synonymous of good governance. Getting point. So this thing we continued in 21st century also in 2007. I tell you one wave was created uh, that that is called uh, centralized. public grievances and uh, public grievances redressal and monitoring system that was very important system established in central level which take care of so take care of all public grievances issue and manage on time basis getting a point so this is presently working at still the present government getting a point the, the present government started introduce my government dot in getting a point a portal in which any individual can register his complaints suggestions to improve administration getting point in railway you know there is some helpline in every ministry they have given helpline to register your complaint getting point present government is very particular about caste citizen grievances and they are having number of you can say meeting and you can say dialogue with public man ki baat is also one of them through which prime minister direct communicates with public getting point he invites their opinion suggestions and address them in his on his speech so presently if you see at central level there is good public grievance redressal mechanism except some there uh, few exceptions due to which due to nrc or ca but it has some other aspect also so but in general if you ask presently that present government is 
sense that you are a public governance is concerned you can well find you can find also at the time of corona epidemic the government took very serious action provided packages and were trying to make country self dependent so aapnevar bharat is one of them then a point where seva bihar is concerned bihar is very good where seva public relations gradation is concerned you know bihar has got you can say wave ratan award in 2011 for better public relations gradation mechanism getting point bihar introduced right to information bihar introduced right to government services bihar introduced right to public relations redressal act so bihar is doing fairly well where so about this act is public relations is concerned you know in under uh, under prime minister chief minister there is one department called general administration department under which one institution called bihar administrative reform mission society works which is basically nodal agency of administrative reform in bihar that is point and it suggest or in it takes an initiative to bring uh, administrative reform in bihar in 2019 it has introduced you know there should be grievance redressal for government employee so also that is point so this type of thing we find in bihar that there is you know toll free number in police administration or you can say agricultural department then you can say local self body then welfare administration you can take administration online and get information with regard to administration you can get your visually electric bill deposited on through online services you can get uh, several electronic e e e governance with measures in several department in bihar also presently present bihar government has taken also very effective mechanism in way to handle corona epidemic pandemic you can say it has arranged you can say uh, to give a transfer fund or money to those who are from bihar living outside bihar through jan dhan khata account then it has also made arrangement for their safety uh, arrival to their state native state and to keep them under quarantine and provide resources suitable appropriate measures and relief so what i mean to say the government government level there has been presently if you see almost all government are doing where doing their best where seva uh, their resources and limitations are concerned but you know public relations is always to be there because there is always an increasing amount of public expectation so public expectation is always increasing that's why there will be always public relations but it is important to point out that presently it is supposed to be under control and little supposed to be a comfortable position but in general if someone asks you what can we measure to make public administration more responsive more transparent more responsive one then what measure will suggest last time there was question in bpsc what do you think whether we are government is sensitive to public grievances first question was then second part was that what are machine the machinery available for public grievances in bihar number 2 then i do hope you you could have right that there is administrative mission society there under the general administrative department there is right to information right to government service each and every department police general collector electricity board Uh, Bihar Education Board, etc., all are online, and you can uh, get email, uh, online services from them. There is toll-free number to register your complaint, and here yeah, I pointed out this is number for public grievances. Yeah, the one eight double zero three four five four two eight four four six two eight four. You can contact. This is this is under Cabinet Chief Secretary of Bihar Government, and you can complain. you can register your complaint in between 10 am to 6:30 pm every day this is open to everyone call free number and you can get your timely disposal of public your own grievances so what i mean to say despite these major if someone asks what can we other major to make it effective then we can give certain major that there should be you know 
compulsory arrangement in every public organization to receive public advice as public uh, say you can say opinion they should be made mandatory for every public organization to keep box to take public opinion number 2 there should be single window arrangement to address all issue getting point it will be, be, be has come uh, delay and it will slow down it will cause uh, curtailment in delay and increase public convenience then you can say there should be effective monitoring system to over over oversee whatsoever public reverences mechanism is working you know sometimes in absence of monitoring system they are not giving proper aid so this is very important that you are not only to create act you are not create only to create stability machinery but you also required to keep effective monitoring system over them then you know there should be there should be a particular seal in every organization to address public grievances and an officer designated officer should be there if for just as you find in bank there is a public relation officer in every bank to take care of public causes there should be a timely disposal of uh, you can say public grievances there should be not be linger too much because justice delayed is justice denied so this is also when someone visits you to complain to this you they should be given some sleep or received so that he may feel that his complain is uh, heard of and it should be timely disposed of also get a point and citizen charter is very important here it should be introduced get a point that the all public organization should be compulsorily obliged to introduce citizen charter to provide timely and qualitative service to individuals you know in present we live in public service uh, new public service era get a point and this is right issue uh, age so here public are supposed to be more important public are supposed to be more in power and they required to give services as they have their right to get your services you are it is not your obligation but it is their right so you are supposed to give timely and qualitative service to them so you can say with a technology and psychology you can handle the situation public grievances under control you know public grievances is basically criteria of good governance and it is reflecting or it is basically indexes of accountable sensitive and transparent government so what i mean to say you take up one question particularly which was asked in bpsc and try to post write and post me this question was asked in bpsc once i do hope this question can be of great use at your point and in this question you require to the question do you think that administration in bihar is sensitive to public grievances discuss the existing grievances redressal mechanism in bihar and give suggestions to make it effective you will take my lecture twice or thrice then you can also consult net and uh, book also and then try to write and post to me if you have you have any sort of difficulty you can contact me okay all the best enjoy